Greetings Poofarians, welcome back to another episode of Demetrius, the big cynical adventure. And uh, my name is Poofy, I'm sorry for the, for the, uh, uh, um, let us see, we ended up here, we needed to go to the hallway last time. And there's an elevator that's out of order. Oh, hello, Sandra. Oh, hello, Bjorn. Pardon me, but did you hear all that racket last night? Racket? What racket? It sounded like an argument in the hall. Don't tell me you didn't hear it. It woke me up in the middle of the night. Well, not really. I'm a heavy sleeper, you know. Hmm. Talk about the argument. Can you tell me anything more about what happened last night? Well, it was two men, judging from their voices. And? And, oh, one had a deep voice with a foreign accent. What about the other voice? Let me think. It was rather high-pitched and that's pretty much all I can remember. Okay. <coughs> Uh, what were they talking about? I, I didn't hear them, but I couldn't really understand. They were probably speaking a different language. Chinese or Arabic, maybe? Or maybe she was just too far from them. What's more likely? Well, yeah, Bjorn, I'm with you, man. Say, uh, Sandra, what do you do for a living? Watermelon seller or maybe barbecue cleaner? Bjorn? I'm a nurse. My job forced me to move to Paris. Who cares? I don't care. Well then. Oh, before I go, while you're here, can you lend me that book you taught me about? A uh, book? Yes, the cookbook. All right, yeah. As soon as I get it, I'll bring it to you. All right, see you later. Well, Sandra, you're a bit of a drag. Uh, how did this go? We had a right stick. Was it a detailed thing? Yeah, oh, what have we here? A cookie. So Sandra likes cookies, huh? Interesting. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like cookies, sort of. There should be one here. Oh, is that? That's uh, stuck. Got it. A cookie in several chunks. Doesn't matter though, what difference does it make in your stomach? You really are eating them, you're an orange. And there should be one right there. Oh, the boy left the cookie here, stuck on the pipe. Cool. Got another cookie. Okay, let's use the elevator. Something tells me I should avoid using this. But I'm so tired, do I really have to use the stairs? Sure, we're gonna take it. Let's go. What's going on? Ah! Yeah, another death. Here lies Bjorn Tonin, who took a broken elevator and broke his neck. Like an idiot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hmm. All right, but she was asking for uh, for a cookbook, right? We have that inside. Let me see. We gotta go to uh, there. And there should be. Wait, what? Barbie has big boobs. <laughs> Cooking for idiots. There you go. Great. This is exactly the book Sandra was looking for. Got a cookbook. Now the intruder in my library is gone. I, okay, intruder. Oh, the cookbook was an intruder. Right, let's let's give it to her. Hello, Sandra. Hello. Bjorn, why do you knock on my door? I have a doorbell, you know. Okay, sorry, I'm not used to these modern gadgets. Well, here's a... Oh, let's talk about you again. Besides that, how are you getting on in your new life? It's truly different from the countryside here. Making friends is a lot harder. People just don't have the same attitudes. 
I wouldn't mind helping you integrate into the city. Although the best person for that would be Femand, our first floor janitor. Within a week, you'll make so many friends that you'll only want one thing, to go back to the farmland. Are you being ironic? Do you have something against rural people? Sorry I misspoke. I only mean that I'd rather smell pollution than cow dung. What? I think I've heard enough. Goodbye, Mr. Thurnan. Oops, maybe I went a little too far. No problem, I'll just let her calm down a while. Oh, but we... Well, not the handle. This doesn't open. Weird, why is the door locked? I don't know. It's... Use the doorbell. Ring, ring. Sandra? You again? Uh, yeah, I wanted to apologize about earlier. Oh, that's okay. After all, you're still the only person in the city willing to talk to me. Whoa, that is sad. All right, I got a cookbook for you. As promised, there's your cooking Bible. Sorry for the delay. To make up for it, you can keep it. Did I borrow the book from her? Is that <laughs> what's going on? Oh, that's great, thank you so much. With this, I'll finally become the real cook I've always wanted to be. She's serious? Nah, she's delusional. I owe you one, Bjorn. Please take this. Ooh, we got a liar. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a lighter. Yeah, I can see that, but why are you giving me this? I found it in front of my door. It may belong to one of the men from the fight last night. You sounded so interested there earlier, so I figured I'd give it to you. Good thinking. What do you know? Something's written on the lighter for Hector, my friend and partner. And underneath is an address. Dumoulin LLC, 15 Rue d'Orny's Paris. Are we in Paris? Better check it out. All right. Bjorn, are you okay? Yeah, sorry, just lost in thought. See ya, Sandra. Please come for dinner someday. I'll let you taste many recipes. Sure. All right. Do we really want to? I don't know. So we're heading back in. Where? How did I get my? Uh, that's my inventory. Got to use the lighter on the radiator because. Yeah, we need warmth. It's cold here. A lighter and a gas radiator. That looks fun. Do it. Nothing happens. So disappointing. Something did happen, Jorn. You blew up the entire building. <laughs> Here lies Bjorn thrown in, victim of an unexplained building explosion that killed over a hundred people. Yet another domestic accident. You did well, buddy. Okie dokie, well let's head out. And uh, we're taking the stairs this time. Oh, we are in Paris. Now we gotta go to uh, Town in Antique. Because that's where we want to go. Uh, manhole cover. There should be. Oh, it's there. A cookie! Oh, the poor little cookie. It almost fell in the sewer. I saved you, kiddo. You sure did. And there's another one here. So I'll have to cook you on the fire hydrant. Thank you very much. And the last one is here. A cookie fell to the ground. Let me clean it a bit. There! We got another cookie. And now uh, we have to collect a couple of things. The bag of chips. Oh, the bag isn't totally empty. People disgust me leaving a perfectly good pack on the floor and with chips still inside. Om nom nom. Delicious. <laughs> Are you feeling a bit uh, nauseous right now? Why, why would you eat? <laughs> why would you eat that? Okie dokie, the newspaper. The newspaper doesn't look very in... Oh, wait, that picture. Hey, that's the statue. That's the same bird statue. The article says that an antique dealer was killed last week for unknown reasons. He had a knife in his back. This looks awfully similar to what happened to me last night. Which means... Oh, maybe I'm a little bit lucky after all. I better keep this article. Yeah, that's... Oh, uh, what else do we have? Uh, window. Whoa, would you look at this? Such awesome deals. Gotta answer quick. 
It's probably what my clients think when they look at my window. <laughs> Maybe. When I was young, I wanted to be a fireman. Growing up is so cruel for your inner child. The logo of a sect of merchants selling drugs to innocent people. More or less. Well, I kind of agree. Ice cream man. What do you have for me? Uh, first of all, a cookie. I think the cookie isn't part of the nameplate. No, Musty Street. It's not that part of the cookie or the other way around. And there's another one here. I wonder, did someone put that cookie here or did it grow with the ivy? That's a good question. Hello, mister. You want an ice cream? Of course not. I'm here to buy groceries. <laughs> I see you're quite a funny one, eh? Am I? I? I don't know. What are your specialties? The West Indian ice cream. Kiwi, guava, lychee. Where's lychee? All mixed together to make the most delicious dessert ever. You want one? Maybe later. There's also the Scottish one. It's on sale currently. Really? How much? 50 cents. Less than a euro, really? Why is it so cheap? Well, to tell the truth, it's only water. I mean, an ice cube. It's a Scottish ice cream, you know. Pathetic. <laughs> we got more. Any others? Well, how about a Polish ice cream? Cold as Poland. It's made with vodka and mint. Just have to be careful not to eat too many. Besides, I'm not allowed to sell it to youngsters. You all look like a child. Oh, so you want one? No. Okay. I'd like a... Yeah? And nothing. Oh. I wouldn't mind buying a delicious ice cream with the current state of my finances. I'd like a... Ah, oh, that's the same thing. Alright. Exit. Bye. Yep. So, I was uh, hunting the, the last cookie. But... There it is. Next to the banana peel is a cookie. Seriously, people wasting perfectly food, good cookies. Not food cookies, good cookies. Okay. Well, going uh, inside a ring, then push very hard. What the? The door has been forced open. Great, the burglars must have visited my store too. What were they looking for? Let's see if anything is missing. I wonder. So there should be a cookie. Amazing, one of these has a cookie stuck on it. Maybe they prayed to the god of cookies. I don't know. Maybe. And there's also one here. No way, maybe I figured out what this box contains. Shame I still can open it. I could stop looking for cookies everywhere. <laughs> no, we need all the cookies. <laughs> and there's one here. <clears throat> oh, I remember now. Kid put a cookie here last month. Last month? That's disgusting. Okay, so let's... Uh, my phone. Pick up the phone. Totally forget I left it here yesterday. So we got a phone now. No messages, huh? Oh, calling the phone. The mobile phone is a special item. You'll find it in the top bar. So we got a special item. We don't accept rubber checks anymore. Finish is great. Finish is easy money. Okay. You think so? Let's use that phone that we picked up. Me? Tom? Bass? Mr. Bass. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Bass? Oh, yes, that's me. It's Mr. Tonin. Do you remember me? Oh, not really. I'm the antiques dealer from Paris. You sold me a statue that looks like a bird. Oh, yes, I remember now. Can I ask you a few questions about it? Oh, is there a problem? To be honest, yeah. Hmm. Can you tell me how you got it? Oh, it was a few months ago during my last trip to the Middle East. To the Middle East? Oh, yes. My wife and I took a vacation to Egypt. I found it in a market named 
Adip Du or something like that. The Egyptian wanted to get rid of it, so he sold it to me for next to nothing. To be honest, I hated it. But my wife insisted. She's a very persuasive woman, you know? Yeah, all women are like that. Troublesome things. Oh, what? Never mind. Oh, and recently she didn't want it anymore, so we ended up selling it to you. Uh, another question, please. Oh, yes? There was a tablet on the statue, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yes, that was. With a lightning symbol on it, I think. I thought so. Oh, is that all, Mr. Tonin? Any other questions? No, thank you, Mr. Bass. That was very helpful. Oh, can I ask a question too? Go ahead. Oh, if you have identified the statue's origin, I've been curious about it. Oh, well, I'm still studying it, but I can say it's really a remarkable piece. Oh, okay. So you think the 20 euros you gave me for it was justified? Ah, uh, goodbye. <laughs> that was a weird... That was interesting. I don't know what to make out of it. For now, I'll just try my other leads. I really want to know. I wouldn't know, but let's head into the police department. Andrews Police Department. Alright, so, um... Where are we now? There should be more cookies here. Let's see if we can find them. There's one here. Policeman must have eaten some cookies recently. Got a cookie. And uh, there's one here. Looks like someone was aiming at a cookie. <laughs> okay. And the last one is here. We got them all. Someone angry with the bureaucracy must have put a cookie. I don't know. Okay, let's head up. Mister? So you're sweaty, man. You're not allowed to go there. Oh. Mister? Yeah. What did I say? Uh, there are beautiful flowers on the first floor. Well, that's true, but you can't go over there. Stop. But you shall not pass. But I want to go up there. Are you deaf? Yes. Stop it. No, I want to go in. Next time I call the po You are the police. Oh, uh, I meant we're going to arrest you. I'm sure you won't. I've better things to do to watch over you. Like what? Staring at the wall? Including, but not exclusively staring at the wall. Enough. Next time you'll go to jail. Yeah, right, as if you could. <laughs> See, you can't do any... What? The get off me. Ah, oh, that hurt. I've got to complain to the police. They are the police. Anyways, that's another game over screen. Gear and tone and charge for irritating everyone and not giving a crap about warnings. When it says stop, it's better to stop. Continue. Okay, you know what? Let's just use the photocopier then. A photocopier in the police department? Actually, I made a bet a while ago. Photocopy your butt? Yes, please. I may not get a second chance. Sir? Mister? That photocopier is strictly reserved for police staff. Hey, what are you doing? Don't sit on it, you'll break it. Are you listening? <laughs> what? what? What's that horrible thing you copied? Uh, you copied your butt? I made a bet with someone I had to. Hands over your head now. I'm sorry, I'll pay for the photocopies I've made. Oh my, you crapped on it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. I thought I'd just fart, but when I let it go suddenly... <laughs> you're going to jail. <laughs> First you clean up the crap. <laughs> oh, please, no, I can't. It's all liquid and it reeks. This is disgusting. <laughs> but I like it. Ah, I get a trophy. No respect for the police. Bjorn Thonen charged for making copies of his butt in the police department is shitting on a photocopier. Next time, I'll think before accepting a bet. Well, really? Wow. Okay, one last... One last... <laughs> thing. 
Being on the planet is forbidden. <laughs> that certainly gives me ideas. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> uh, mister? Mister! You're not allowed over there. Hi! What are you doing? What the? Hands over your head, now! Oh, uh, I said now! But I haven't zipped my pants yet. Well, do it quick, put it away! Oh my gosh. You totally flooded the plant. Ah, oh, sorry, couldn't resist the urge, couldn't find the toilets. Pooping on a printer wasn't enough for you? Oh, you're not supposed to remember that. I can't believe it. We put up that sign on purpose after what happened last time. Oh, someone else did this too? Cool. To the jail then. Come on, move, you pissing pig. <laughs> and another game over screen. Bjorn Tonen charged for relieving himself in public. Yeah, next time we better look for a toilet. Alrighty. We can, uh, let's talk to, no, let's use our ID card with the fellow that has arrested us <laughs> for a long time, for a couple of times. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like to file a complaint for burglary and aggression. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, don't get carried away. First of all, do you have your ID with you? What? You don't even ask my name first? There are two options. If you have an ID card, your name is written on it. If you don't, any answer you'd give would be acceptable anyway. Uh, here you go. Ah, finally. See? It wasn't so hard. Speak for yourself. Let's see, Mr. Bjorn Tonen. So your name doesn't sound very French. Listen, I was born in Paris. I'm French, end of the line. Whoa, don't lose your temper. It was just a little joke. You're right, these days I don't feel so well. And I'm so thirsty in here, I wish we had an ice cream machine. Anyway, let's not get off track. So I'd like to file a complaint. One second, I'll grab a form. Go on, tell me what happened. So yesterday I was in my apartment when suddenly... And here I am. There, you know everything. Interesting. So now I'll just wait for the ink to dry and put your complaint into the appropriate file cabinet. But wait, I don't get it. I, I've, I, I, I explained I've been robbed and knocked unconscious and that's all you do? My good man received dozens of complaints about attacks like these every day. Anyone with any sense would understand that we only follow up on the most important cases. Hopefully we'll find your aggressor. With a whole barrel of luck, you mean? Sorry, can't do more for you. Well, that sucks. I want to file another complaint. Listen, I'd like to speak with someone competent. Are you suggesting I'm incompetent? No, I don't mean that. It's pretty clear you are incompetent. Just, could I speak to an inspector, please? I'm sorry, there's only Inspector Cassay, and he's terribly busy these days. Come back another day. But I need to see him now. That's impossible. Very, very sorry, sir. I want to file a complaint. Something else I need to tell you. You have hemorrhoids? What? No. You sure? Because you keep scratching yourself all over the place. That's not why. The door to my antique shop was forced open. Is that so? Can't be a coincidence. The thieves were looking for something. I doubt that. There are dozens of stores robbed every day, you know. But both happened during the same night. You're probably just an unlucky person. What did I steal? Nothing at all. And they're not thieves. And? At what? Can you at least add that to the report? Alright, if you insist. There, it's added. Happy? I guess. Ah, uh, the missing tablet? I'd like to report something important. Yes? You see, I've got a rare statue at home. It's supposed to have some kind of tablet on it. And it's gone. It was there yesterday, now I can find it anywhere. So? So this must be what the thieves were after. They've stolen it. Or maybe you just moved the tablet someplace else. Or it went into trash when you used your vacuum cleaner. You don't take me seriously, do you? No, I don't. Listen, I'll add this to the complaint file if that's what you want. Yes, 
but don't you understand, this is no ordinary burglary. Yeah, yeah, if you say so. <sighs> okay, what about Inspector Cassay then? So can you book me an appointment with Mr. Cassay? I said already, he's very, very busy. I know, but you still haven't told me when he'll be available. Let's see. Ah, you're lucky. There's a five minute opening next week at 6 a.m. You're kidding, right? I'm a police officer, sir. I wouldn't dare. Right. So that, that doesn't bring us anywhere. I'll go now. Sure, good day. So we're gonna, we're gonna continue our investigation next time in the next episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe to the channel. And if you subscribe to the channel, don't forget to click that little bell. So you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Hope to see you next time. For now, I, Poofy, salute you.